Hey, this is Diane Love to Bake, and what we're going to make is a skillet cake, and it's going to be a coconut skillet cake. Now, if you're looking for other skillet cakes, uh, whether they're cinnamon rolls or apple or nectarine or fruit or cake skillets, I have nine of them on my video, um, on my um, on my channel on YouTube and uh, please uh, you know check it out let's get started first we're going to start off with a stick of butter and we're going to put that into um, my mixing bowl and I cut it up into small pieces because it's, I think it's faster to cream it and move it along for the video so we'll just break that up We're also going to be putting in one cup of granulated sugar to the butter. And just beat that till it's all uh, smooth, okay? The next thing we're going to be putting in is one egg, and I've had it at room temperature. And again, I just want to uh, blend it and beat it till it's smooth. Next thing we're going to be putting in is vanilla, and you need one teaspoon of vanilla. Okay. The next thing that I think that really makes this skillet cake taste just fantastic because it's moist um, and it, it just it tastes like fresh coconut to me is coconut milk uh, and I purchased mine um, in the grocery store uh, it came out of a can and we're going to be using one cup of coconut milk and this is what really I think gives its flavor and its texture uh, to the skillet cake so that was one cup of coconut milk. And I'm just going to uh, beat that in until it's smooth. And that doesn't take you very long at all. Maybe a minute, minute and a half. Okay, now working on the dry ingredients, you're going to need one cup of all-purpose flour in a bowl. You're also going to be putting in one box of coconut pudding mix, okay? And it's a 3.4 uh, ounce uh, box of coconut um, pudding. Put that in your flour. You're also going to be putting in one teaspoon of baking powder. And then you're going to be putting in a pinch of salt. And I'm just going to um, take a spoon and just stir this together. And then I'm going to slowly add it to um, my liquid mixture here, just till it comes together. I don't want to overbeat it. I'm going to do it very low, um, and I don't want to beat it for very long. I just want to really mix it rather than beat it in. Because you don't want the skillet cake to come out um, tough or dense or heavy. So just till it's combined. Another second or two here. Okay. And now I'm just going to remove my paddle. Take off my excess here. set that aside and we'll just make sure that everything's come together checking the bottom of my mixing bowl and the sides okay so your batter will come out quite nice and silky and you can really smell that coconut milk in it 
Now, your next you're going to need, of course, a skillet, and you're going to heavily grease it. You decide however you want to grease your pan. Uh, you can use a, a 9 inch or an 8 inch pan uh, if you want. And then I'm just going to pour the batter into my skillet. I want to get it all out and then even it out as best as I can. Like that. Okay. And I'm just going to take a knife here and uh, get that off my spatula here. And then we'll just smooth it on out. Okay. And we'll set that aside. And then I have uh, about a quarter of a cup of sweetened coconut. And then I like to just sprinkle that over the top. Now you should have plenty with that quarter to cover it nicely. Okay. Now you're going to bake this at 375 degrees and it's going to take you anywhere from 45 minutes to an hour depending on your oven. I usually start checking mine about 35 minutes and mine bake up in my oven in 45 minutes. So that's going to be up to you, you know, to keep checking your oven and make sure by putting a toothpick or a cake tester in the center, it comes out dry, you know your cake is thoroughly baked. And then just place it on a cooling rack till you're ready to uh, serve it. Now what I also like about it is that when it does bake up, the coconut will be toasted just beautifully on the, on the top of it. And I want to show you what one looks like. Mine is still a little bit warm and it will come out and look like this. I don't know if you can see the toasted coconut, how pretty that is. And what I did was I just made a sugar glaze for it, glazed it, and then I just put, a, you know, about a, two tablespoons or so of sweetened coconut on the top just to garnish it, okay? So let's cut into it and uh, see what it looks like. I'm going to rinse my hands both quickly. And as I mentioned, it's still warm. Now this cake is really good, um, cold or warm. It's really up to you how you want to serve it, how you want to eat it. It's also uh, great with a cup of coffee or a cup of tea. Um, also with some ice cream. It's just delicious with, um, with some ice cream. Okay. Now when it's warm, it's a little bit harder to get it out than if it was if it was cool. So it's breaking up a little bit for me here. But you'll get the idea of the cake. Um, it's an extremely moist and delicate uh, cake on the inside. Um, the um, the, the flake itself, um, I don't know if you can even see it, but it's, oh, it, it's just so moist and, and delicate. It'll just melt in your mouth when, uh, when you eat it. Uh, so there you have it. You've got a coconut skillet cake. Very easy to make. Delicious. Warm or cold. You can serve it with ice cream or just plain. And I hope you like this one. If you try this recipe and you like it, we'll leave a comment because I always like to hear from you. And as always, I want to thank you for watching Diane Love to Bake. Please subscribe to my channel and remember to watch me on YouTube because that's where my videos are. Thank you so much and I'll see you soon.